Hello, my name is Andy, and welcome back to my channel. My hair looks stupid. I'm still in Seattle visiting my family. I went to edit my video and realized I don't have an introduction. This video is all of my ride or dies for Lush, all of my favorite Lush products, and then all of my empties. And those empties are from the past few years. I've loved Lush for a long time. I've had some friends that have worked there, which has kind of changed my perception a little bit, but I still have ride or dies. I talk more about that in the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your favorite things from Lush. Let's get into it. All of these are empty. So, if I was giving you a tour of my shower, I use the Soak and Float shampoo bar. It smells so good. <laughs> I love it. You just get it wet, you lather it, and then you wash your hair with it. It's packaging free, which we stan in this household. You leave it out to dry. You don't want it to get all gooey and gummy. But yeah, this is maybe my third one. Love it. So I really like Plum Rain, so it's a body wash. I used this in college. My roommate slash best friend and I bought the really big $40 one and then just split it. And I don't know what they do differently than I do because their half lasted so long like two years I felt a little pressure to not be using so much of it they discontinued this I went to get plum rain they only had two little bottles of this left it smells a little bit like Christmas to me but in such a beautiful way the forecast looks energizing with this sweet fruity blend of fresh plum juice and Sicilian mandarin oil. So it's the mandarin oil. Also, it's, like I said, they gave me two. The other one's almost empty. It's just in the shower. But I've been using this one almost more and it's rose jam. It's bigger. I like rose jam. I like the smell of it. There's a lotion in here, a little body conditioner in here that I love with the same scent. It smells way sweeter. Decadent rose absolute vanilla pod infusion and nourishing argan oil. In my other video, I was like, apparently I like the smell of vanilla, which it's in this. So, okay. So the next thing is my deodorant. I use the um, Aroma Sumatabab, I don't know, it's a solid deodorant. They just rub, rub, rub. There's a trick to this, and that is that it sweats. <laughs> so I keep it in this very dirty lush tin. I've lined the inside with paper towels. It picks up all the condensation that does come out and then this keeps it all in there and it keeps it from drying out. If it does get dry, it'll hurt. So I will just scrape it off with my finger. Only thing, and this is just cause it's packaging free and completely plastic free, it gets on your fingers. All right, so those are all of my like everyday products as if I shower every day, I don't. And then the classic, which I'm quarreling with a little bit, they're, I don't even I want to talk about this. There's sleepy lotion. It's incredible. She's beautiful. You're perfect. Some You're beautiful. Them. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. We know, okay? We all know that sleepy is like the one. My friend had sleepy and then my other friend got sleepy and then I smelled that sleepy and then I got sleepy. And this was like in 2018, I think. And it does smell really good. I have the sleepy lotion. I have like three of these. It smells good. We can't deny that. I have the body mist of it. Sometimes I spray it on things too much. I don't use it often. The reason I'm mad at it is because they are discontinuing so many things that I love in lieu of new sleepy products. And they're pretending like they're not sleepy products by giving them different names, but they are. It's lavender and tonka. That's the that on sleepy. I just, I'm mad because sleepy is great, but they've overdone it. They overdid it for us. <sighs> Upset about it. The next product is something that was discontinued because of sleepy, I think. I don't know, I might just be saying that. I just wish that they wouldn't discontinue things. Like I love these things. This is, <laughs> it's a massage bar. It's tender as the night. I studied abroad in Denmark. They didn't have Lush there. I don't know if they do now. And I went to Germany. The first thing on my list was to go to Lush and get more of this because I ran out. I went to go buy more the other day and that's when I found out they discontinued it. So she looks a little rough right now. She's broken because I'll like rub it on my body and it all falls apart. What you really need to do is rub it in your hands first. That's so good. I guess it's Jasmine. I didn't realize it was Jasmine. You rub it in your hands. You're oily. And then you just like rub it on the rest of your body. 
Okay, so those are all of my like active ones. I might be forgetting something, but let's go over the ones that are gone. I can't believe I had a rose argan this big. What? Oh, there is one more. I messed up. Uh, there is another one. Actually, there's technically two more. Um, this is another one I have opened. I think that it's expired and I think that it's like actually expired. It's helping hands. It just smells wrong, which is how you should really know. I feel like their expiration dates I never go off of except for when it smells bad. This video is really bad. This is really like good hand cream. It doesn't start with a great smell. I don't know. It says honey, almond oil, and lavender. It's not something that I put on and was like, oh yes, bask in the smell. It just helped my hands a lot. Helping hands. So this should, it does belong in the empties. Okay, so I've broken it up into categories for my empties. <laughs> Let's start with this body conditioner, Rose Argan. I have two of these. This smells the same as Rose Jam and it smells so good. And you can only get these maybe, or this one? I don't know, you can only get one of them if you bought the package, like the Rose package, which is kind of annoying. It's a body conditioner and they want you smooth all over your wet skin after washing, then rinse clean. Didn't sit right with me, so. I always would just use it as lotion. And then I did eventually put it in the shower and I was like, oh, I guess I do still feel moisturized. So the actual instructions do work. Oh, these are also the same. This is a face and body cleanser. Let the good times roll. It's an exfoliator. It smells like pop. It has popcorn in it. It smells good. I like the way it smells. This smells horrible because it's gone bad. It's like kind of like a honey. I don't know, it smells good. I like the way it smells. It's a face thing. I'll just like insert pictures. Maybe that's the best way to do that. Okay, these are face masks. Most of them I've gotten, you get them for trading in. So this is five, so I would trade all these in and get a new one. Brazened Honey. Let's see, which ones do I really like? Oh, I really loved this one. Oh, this one smells so good. Oh, I loved Brazened Honey. I have two of them. And then I also really like, one is missing. I'm in a cupcake. I feel like I had like three cupcakes. I don't know, they're gone. Oat Fix was tried and true, as you all know. I have very dry skin. So Oat Fix, beautiful. BB Seaweed is another one that's really good for a dry face. Um, dryness and redness it was really good for. Rosy Cheeks is for very, very, very sensitive skin. When I put it on my skin, it looks the same as my skin. It's so pink. It kind of looks like calamine lotion. Soothe and soften cheeks with calming, oh, <gasps> calamine lotion and rose clay. That's why. Another thing that I used forever, Mask of Magnum Inti, I think that's what it's called. I used that one for like a very long time. This video is really hectic and chaotic. This just reminds me that I need to take all of my stuff in and swap it out for bigger and better things. Oh, cupcake is right there. How did I miss cupcake? So, it's so ridiculous. So apparently I didn't film an outro either. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your favorite thing from Lush. And yeah, have a good day.